I had this guitar for about 30 years until it suffered at the hands of my daughter who jumped in it and snapped the neck. It was a pretty clean break but it was definitely broken. Um, sat for about three years. Um, so I decided it was time to get round to actually fixing it. Um, never done anything like this before. Um, not very handy. Not really got a lot of tools. Um, so I watched a few YouTube videos and thought I would give it a shot myself. Just try to clean off the old glue that may have been stuck to the inside of the neck where the uh, fretboard attaches to the neck. This is just some old sandpaper I've got from working on my car, some 80 grit. This is what I bought from Amazon. I think the whole lot of this cost less than £10. I think the most important part of this is probably the, the glue, um, which needs to be particularly strong here, I think. Um, the clamps are like £3 each, and the scalpels are really there to try to shave down some of the wood because I've not got sort of decent chisels, but I think they're probably unnecessary. Um, this is me just trying to fit the net back on and clamp it up to make sure that it's a, a decent fit. Not the greatest filming technique here, my hands seem to be in the way most of the time. As you can see when I clamp it back together again it's pretty clean. Um, all I did was really clean out some of the, the gunk that was in there. And when I clamped it up it was a pretty clean reconnection. Um, so I just sort of broke out the, the glue in the that's my daughter's uh, 50p brush that she's got for dinner paintings um, to try to glue this thing back together again. I think the key to this is just to try to get the glue in everywhere. Um, try to make as much sort of contact as possible. try to wedge it open a bit. The fretboard was uh, not connected to the rest of the neck at this point so just try to wedge it open so I can get the glue right in to get as good a adhesion as possible. It's weird that this guitar's got a sort of a, a, a metal sort of um, truss rod through it, but it's not an adjustable kind. It just seemed to be a sort of an aluminium bar that was sealed in between the neck and the fretboard. The guitar itself was a cheap catalogue guitar. I think it was cost like seventy pounds back in like nineteen ninety three or something like that. So it's not the highest quality, but I guess it gives it a little bit extra strength. That's me finally trying to connect the two bits back together again. Uh, a lot of glue squidging. These clamps work pretty well. 
think even though they were cheap, that's because they're sort of the actual ends of the G clamps have got plastic on them. You can use it to clamp wood and it doesn't sort of, uh, it'll not damage the wood. Um, that's what I was a bit worried about. I had sort of other G clamps that had sort of metal ends on them and that would definitely have damaged it, so these work pretty well. Try to clean up the excess glue with the uh, baby wipes, no less. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the labels of those clamps first. The glue actually dries clear, so even though it's best to get the excess off, the stuff that was left wasn't too bad. Um, this is me left it sort of 24 hours clamped. Um, this is the worrying bit. Uh, you're sort of worried that it's actually going to just snap as soon as you undo the clamps, but um, I was able to pick it up by the neck. So, whatever happened with the glue, it certainly was strong enough at this point. Obviously, not loaded up with strings or anything, but I was quite happy with it at this point. all back being a guitar in one piece again. Still a bit of a, a mess there where the guitar snapped. Um, not totally smooth, so as you'll see later, there's a bit of work on that. Basically just sanded it down to see where the damage was at this point. Even though the glue's sealed it up, there's still a crack. I decided that even though the glue seemed strong, it would sort of make sense to maybe put a couple of wooden dowels in there to um, sort of connect the two broken halves together. Uh, I've got a beach dowel, I think, from B and Q for like one pound fifty, and like they cut down the size. Um, this is me just um, ham-fistedly drilling a couple of holes in the neck, which you can't see because I've not set up the camera properly. So, I'd actually cut the dowels and hammered them in by this point, and this is me just um, trying to get it to 
fit back into the neck. I'd actually, um, that's what I was saying earlier on, I bought the scalpels because so, I thought I'd need them to trim the dowels back, but in all honesty, you could probably just do it with the sandpaper. This was the neck, sort of post repair with the sort of dowels hammered into it and, and it sanded back. So at this point I'd sort of sanded the rest of the neck back and I thought that was probably the best thing to do to get the best finish. Um, the easiest way to really protect the rest of the guitar was to just stick it in a bin bag um, and mask it up. Um, I'd mask around the sort of sensitive bits at the bottom of the neck that we could potentially get uh, overspray on them. Um, but really it was just about trying to get the paint on. Um, I didn't really want to buy any specialist guitar paint, so I just really bought um, some car paint, uh, some primer and some um, some black, some gloss black. Uh, put a couple of layers of primer on and then really just sort of piled on the black paint. And I was heating it up between coats uh, with a heat gun um, so that the paint took better and I was just trying to get as many layers on as I could to get the thickness of the paint up because uh, I knew that later on this would help when I was trying to basically polish the neck up for a final finish. Um, so I skipped a couple of steps here as I decided to fit new tuning pegs to it. The ones that were in it before were really terrible cheap ones and I think two of them had snapped off so I bought these tuning pegs off of um, Amazon for like £6 I think. Uh, I also got a new nut um, and a new tailpiece but I ended up for the bridge but I ended up not fitting that. Um, and after all that it was back together again and playing so here's some poor quality guitar playing. So all in all, I mean, it's not the greatest job in the world, but the guitar's back together again. It's fully strung, and it's been strung for a couple of weeks now. And there's no signs of cracking or anything. The neck's straight, or as straight as, as it's ever been. Um, and what I ended up doing with the neck was I uh, knocked it back with uh, wet and dry, I think uh, 800 grit, and then polished it up using basically polishing compound that you would use in a car. Uh, and that seemed to do the trick. Um, uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching that um, it was a good experience trying to do it together and I'm glad the guitar's back together again <laughs>